Do you have a blog or a website and want to make sure that there's a way that somebody can print articles from it? Well, I want to cover that for you today in this quick video. My name is Krishna Day. You'll find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash marketing mentor and I invite you to come over there and ask me your questions about marketing, digital marketing and social media marketing. You'll also find me online at bizgrowthnews.com. I've actually been looking at my blog recently and changing some different um, areas of my blog and plugins for my blog. And that's what I want to share with you in terms of one particular plugin that I've been looking at. And it's all about being able to encourage people to print or save your content to PDF. If you haven't come across this platform, it's called Print Friendly. You'll find them online at printfriendly.com. There are a number of different things that I think are very helpful. Firstly, one of the things I have is I've actually taken the Print Friendly bookmark, which you can find here, and you can add it to your toolbar. In fact, I've done that in terms of adding it to my Firefox um, bookmark toolbar. And so that if I come across content and I want to print it, then I'm able to do so directly from there. However, you can also get the button for your website or for your blog. And so it allows you to get the information there and add it to your website, add the code to your website with a number of different buttons. Or if you're using WordPress or Blogger, they've got specific tools. Now within WordPress, which is what I use, what you can do is you can get a plugin and that's what I've installed on my blog. Now I have several plugins just for the demonstration of this video and some of them I will be install, uh, taking out um, later. In fact, the this particular plugin I'm going to be taking out later, but I just wanted to show you how it works. You can actually make a decision about whether or not you want that print PDF to be at the top or the bottom of your posts. So I put it here at the bottom and you can also customize it. So let's just say we had this running on our website or our blog. I've had it set up to do print or to PDF. And this is what you'll see that will open up. So it allows you to print it, PDF it, or send it to email. The other thing you can do is also remove images. That's why I find it really helpful if I want to keep an article that I've seen on the web and why I have it in my toolbar there. So it allows me to, if I wish to do so, let's say for example here there's an image and it removes the image. It also allows me to delete parts of the article as well. So if I felt, okay, I don't need to have this information, then I can actually just delete different parts of it. And then I can send that article to print or save it as a PDF. I highly encourage you to make sure that your blog or website has a way that people can print and email your articles on and so that they can actually save a hard copy or alternatively that they can email it on to a friend or to colleagues. It's a great way to encourage word of mouth marketing. Have you got a favorite tool that you like to use on your blog or website for printing? There are many other different things that I've tested out and have trialed and certainly this particular one is one that too definitely is worth considering to add onto your blog or website. Leave your thoughts and feedback over at facebook.com for slash marketing mentor and let me know what you think of this particular plugin that I've shared with you today. Remember you'll find it online at printfriendly.com.